Okay, hello, and welcome back to another episode of 8-Bit Lucky Dip. Sorry, it's been a while since my last video, but I've been a bit busy the last couple of weeks. But I'm all raring to go um, to get those old Commodore games back in my bloodstream. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Right, as ever, I'm choosing them based on the cover art. So this one's called Motor Mania. Um, it's got quite a nice design. Um, cheat? Hell no. Um, yes, it's got a kind of, I don't know what you'd call that. Looks like a futurist painting, if you're into paintings. Um, this isn't quite as good. The front end looks slightly bleak, but we are dealing with a car game. It's going to get hot in here. As ever, I'm all ready with some homemade vape and some water. Okay, so this is Motor Mania by John Fitzpatrick, 1982, quite an early game, and it's a car game. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Rudimentary looking car there. Okay, so op goes forward. Okay. We've also got fuel there. I don't know what that gen is. Okay, it's just... Fire button doesn't do anything. It's a racing game. Pretty bleak looking one, I must say. There's a cone. Oh, let's max it out. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay, don't know what the obstacle that was, but we ran foul of it. Come on then, let's push this thing right up. Okay, so we're just dodging obstacles, that kind of game. I don't think there's much more I can really say, so let's concentrate and see if I can uh, defeat this game in the first go. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's going to happen. Lane, slow lane ends, okay. All right, it's getting narrower. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's going to be one of those games. Um, when was it? Yesterday? No, day before yesterday. I was doing, I was cooking in the kitchen and I sharpened up a knife, nice and sharp, razor sharp in fact, and then I proceeded to put it through my fucking thumb. Um, so my left thumb is actually, I didn't actually think about this um, before starting tonight, but it could cause some problems. It's hurting a bit. But no pain, no gain. Gain. But how the hell are you supposed to get out of that? Okay, we've got problems here. But we are made of sterner stuff. So let's, let's get through this. I'm going to be a bit cockier and do it with my just one hand. Oof, got a feeling contact with that car will spell disaster. Jesus. Right, we've got problems here. Come on! Let's max this fucking car out. Yeah, I can't remember how big the file was, I mean... I don't think it was much above 10k, so we're not dealing with a an, an advanced game here by any measure. But it's quite an early one, so... Right, got your measure now, you swine. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, no, this is the last go. Come on. I want to get a bit further. Who knows what wonders await further up the road. Oh, 
Oh, come on. What the hell was that? Hmm. All manner of uh, devious things on this track. <laughs> nice try. Oh shit, what got me last time? <laughs> Oh, dirt road. I don't know. I think we're, we're on borrowed time, yeah? Fuel looks healthy. Uh, yeah, I, of course, I could actually step off the gas, I suppose, to avoid these things, but... Right, that's the end of that. I'm not going to have another go. That's Motomania. Will I ever play that again? Almost oh, certainly not. Okay, on to the next. Okay, next game. Ricochet. <laughs> I've just tried it. Well, I've just tried another version and it didn't work properly. And that's the same fucking one again. Twat. Third time lucky. This is Ricochet. Now I'm cheating here slightly. Um, I've played this game before, but not since the late 80s. Um, and it's one of my favorite type of games, bat and ball game. Let's see how it compares to the amazing Crackout. If the fucking thing loads. Mm-hmm. Coloured bands is a good sign. Hello. This isn't part of the. This is a crack screen. Hmm. Godzilla, perhaps. Uh, yeah. yeah. Off you go. Hmm. And another crack screen. Unlimited lives, no. The best game in the world. That music is incredible. Brilliant. Bit of a uh, synthesized voice there. Um, I just tried a previous version, take version, it didn't have this same music. Interesting. Okay, we've got various power-ups here. Magneto, Jism Gun, <laughs> Violent Ball, Angry Yag. This is quite, I, I'm beginning to wonder whether this is like a hacked version of the game, I don't know. Crikey, this music is Edge. Okay. Catch provides extra lives. Ball slow down gives a hyper warp. You won't get these abilities immediately activated by pressing the space. Okay, let's get on with it. Yes, okay, this is working now. The version I tried earlier, there weren't any sound effects. Right, so it said something about pressing it. Okay, so at the top there we've got Gravy, we've got a spell. I remember that, but I can't remember what it does. Bloody hell. The ball... As a common problem with some of these games is the collision detection isn't always brilliant between bat and ball. And slightly... it's a slight jerkiness to this. Again, it could be my... 
uh, emulator misbehaving, I don't know. I like the stars there in the background. Nice, nice little touch. All right, space. <coughs> the feature room. Spare lives, slowdowns. Okay, right, that didn't do anything. Shoot the designer. Hmm. This is a fairly mysterious game. Yeah, I remember playing this. Um, don't think we ever got that far with it. See, there, I mean, that's crap. Ashes to ashes, funk to funky. We all know Major Tom's a junkie. Into your name, mate. Okay. Jimmy. There you go. Tommy Ho China. I'm not sure if this is the original game or not. It seems a bit um, informal, shall we say. Well, let's give it another little bash. This time I'm going to focus. Come on, then. Let's just get off the first screen. Tit. Come on, concentrate. A big bat would be nice. This isn't best suited to a control um, a joypad either, really. Give me a joystick any old day. Especially when you've got a pissing cut on your thumb because you're you can't chop mushrooms without half severing your thumb. Okay, another piss poor performance. Gonna have one more go. It's worth playing just for the music, I'd say. Incredible. It's a bit quiet, isn't it? The sound effects have gone quiet. Bloody hell. Now we're cooking. Oh, it's annoying me that the sound's a bit quiet. Right, let's turn it up a little bit. Hmm, I guess we can select shit there, but... Not stingy with the uh, hello. What did that say? I don't know if it's doing anything. Seems a little jerky. I don't know whether it's my emulator or the game. I don't know. Pain in the ass. Am I going to reload it? Am I hell though? Yeah, it's a little bit jer a little bit slow. I'd say. Anyway, okay, that slowed the ball down then. Hmm, that's life. Come on, let's do this. Hello. The hell? Oh, good, right, okay, I guess that's helping me. No! <sighs> oh, good, right, okay. Just one block left, let's do this. Yes. Nicely done, my son. Thank you. Manic helicopters. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I think I remember this, like a bonus level. Well done, 10 baddies bashed. Christ, look at this. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember this skull and crossbones as well. Right, that's all we're going to see of that level. Um, but there we are, Ricochet. Right, put the old name in. You're welcome. Okay, that was Ricochet. Not as good as Krakow, obviously, but I would say playable. You get the thing to work a bit smoother. Anyway, on to the next. Okay, as you may know by now, I'm a sucker for a medieval themed cover. So, let's go for Spooky Castle. 
Oh, some of these, I'm striking gold today with these crack screen musics. Musics. <laughs> Remember, see them a lot. Very good. Okay, there's going to be information here. Deep in the heart of Spooky Castle, beautiful Princess Claire has been imprisoned by evil ghosts. King Michael has promised to hand her in marriage. We've got to save a princess. Spooky Castle. Come on then. Unlimited lives? No, 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 no. Okie dokie by Roy York and Brian Ison. Copyright 1990. Okay. It's quite a late game. Late ish game. Hello. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay, instantly turned into a ghost. Can't get up the fucking ladder. Come on. Right, that's spooky. <laughs> no, come on, let's try again. Get up there, you tit. Here. Oh, there you got the fucking ladder. Tit. Okay. Okay, we've got energy for some of these things. But those kill you instantly. Okay, right now we can got now we can got the ladder for some reason. Okay, those devious things. Christ is hard. Oh, I think you just gotta be bang on the bastard. Thing. Crikey <laughs> Moses. Right. Come on then. Mm. Oh, I, know what you, I don't know what the game is now, mate. Right, okay, you got to go diagonally up to get on that ladder. Right, I know the measure of this game now, so I'm going to complete it. Let's do it. Fuck! <laughs> Should be called Fucking Impossible Castle. Open that chest. Bloody hell, this is hard. I get energy back. Instantly killed. Okay, so this is find the key and get out of the screen. Fodder. Let's give it another go. Quite like the graphics. Sound effects are questionable at best. Gameplay has a lot to be desired as well, but who knows? have hidden depths. It's in hell. Right, let's not be as hasty. Right, we're in trouble here. <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's go. Right, now we're cooking. Fuck! John, have you got a five second memory? Yes. You're not called John, you're called Jim. Come on, get it right. Potion. Shit. Oh. Damn. That was pretty close. Let's go. I'm addicted. I get addicted very easily to these fucking things.
<laughs> it's rock art in this game. I always say I always say that they're they're probably not that hard if you know what you're doing. And I obviously don't. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's what I'm talking about. Good if you could shoot someone. Right there. Energy almost gone. Whew. Right, trouble here. Right, this is definitely my last go. That spooky castle. I'm obviously not good enough to get any further than the second screen, but it's not terrible. It's very hard. Um, yeah, graphically nice. Um, is that the best game I've played so far? Perhaps, although Ricochet was all right. Okay, next. Next. Next game is Streets of London. Okay, I chose this because the cover art looks extraordinarily bad. In fact, it looks like an old, um, from my childhood at least, um, children's storybooks like Ladybird, the Ladybird books. You'd have a, something on the cover um, like that. Um, you, you read the book. Dare you walk the streets of London? Hmm. I'm thinking no. Congratulations on buying the luxury model for this superb program. Every bite has been created by hand using the latest techniques to give the most superlative graphic effects. We bring the unique total experience of full depth texturama to increase your enjoyment of this masterpiece. Plug in your stereo and receive the ultimate thrill of total multiplex sound. Simply caress the space bar and prepare for ecstasy. Mmm. Do you want some general hints? No. This looks interesting. Okay, government health warning. If you're of a nervous disposition, recommend you play with your eyes closed, get someone else to play for you, or we change channels. Okay, grip your teeth, press any key. Oh, that's, that's pretty weird. Input ability, cringing cur, generally inferior being, Mr. Nearly Average. Semi-decent type, rather heroic. Right, I'm going to go for generally inferior being. God knows what game this is going to be. Oh, what? This looks like a text adventure. Yep, yeah, it is. Hell. After an exceptional night on the Tia Maria Shandies, you lay prostate in a padded cell. Pondering on the futility of your existence, you seek something to pass the time until the pubs open. You have it. Crawling to your feet, you set out to seek the most holy grail. 
Pause for fanfare. P this is slightly annoying. P.S. If you do find the grail, be a nice person and bring it back here and type end. Now read on. There are exits east. I can see. Not a lot. All right. Now what? Right. Let's go east. You're on a long tree line road. You feel great. There are exits north, south, east. No, north, south and west. I can see toffee paper. Toffee paper? the hell is that? A little old lady appears nearby. Right, inventory. <laughs> My load consists of not a lot. The lady ran off. Weird. Nasty looking old lady. Talk. Right, gonna have problems here. Good. I will not have words like that used in this game. Don't do it again. Hmm. What about that? <laughs> okay, we're dealing with a fairly um, annoying. Uh, interface here. Um, can I be asked to play it? Probably not. Just keep going north. Bus stop. Uh, it's, it's very hard when you don't know what the input uh, options are, um, other than swear words, which I can do quite readily. Um, talk to old lady. We're not going to get very far. Talk bollocks to old lady. All right, I'm obviously doing something wrong here. Um, on the cover art, there is an old lady there, so I'm. I imagine you have to batter her, or I don't know, something, something offhand, something violent, perhaps, considering she's swinging a handbag. Okay, let's move on. I think I've had enough of this already. No patience today. Okay, next on the menu we've got Scuba Dive. Chosen this because cover art promises some really nice um, exploring. Okay, 1983. Let's give it a go. Joystick. Okay, I had to press P of all fucking... Okay, here we are. Right, we got air. What have we got to do? <sighs> Shite. Pick this up, maybe? And pick them all up. What's that down the bottom there? Oh. Okay, we're dealing with a kind of Frogger style game here. <laughs> The octopus has taken me away to his lair. All right, come on then. All right, fire button does nothing. A harpoon gun would be nice. All right, it says pick up this. It looks like a clam of some kind. Perhaps an oyster. Hell. Okay, we're there, we're there, we're there. Okay, obviously the underside of the boat is radioactive. Come on. Yep, yeah, as ever, the cover art has misled me. Um, not the adventure I was hoping for, but... Let's get one of these clams up, though. Oysters. <laughs> okay, we've got jellyfish here, I think. I guess we've got to go back to the platform. There we are. Yes! Bloody hell. My patience are not going to extend far on this game. 
Okay, there we are, that scuba diver. <laughs> Shocker. I mean, the water's grey. I mean, it should be blue at least. Shall I play that again? No, no, I won't. Don't get to put my name in though. Level five? Christ, can you imagine? I'll tell you what, I will play it one more time just to see, because there was a hole at the bottom. I wonder if you can go down there. Uh, see, there's like a hole. Oh, it's not there, no? Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's see if it, it's a portal to another dimension. Probably just kills you. Hello? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be darned. I bet that kills you, though. All right, we've got a fucking starfish coming after us now. Okay, hidden depths. I was too quick to judge this. There is an element of adventure to be had. Okay, there's a serpent there. Treasure, right, that's what I'm after. I'm thinking if I touch anything, I'm probably going to die, so. And that snake's probably going to come after us. <laughs> Slightly shaky, isn't it, the graphics? Yes, okay, we've got some treasure. Okay, the air doesn't appear to be going down. Or oh, does it? I guess it was going down. Okay, quite odd. Odd game, odd. I guess we've got to get make sure we get back up. Here we go. Ah, there is an air. Uh, the air indicator, I guess, is that yellow bar. Let's go across here. Right, here's some easy treasure. So I guess we've got to get that and then bimble back up. Let's see if we can go up here. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Let's just see if we can. I'll tell you what, let's see if we can go across here. No. Right, that's the end of that. Scuba diver. Hmm. Mixed bag. Perhaps hidden wonders await, but. I don't think I'll be plunging any deeper into those depths, but yeah, if you fancy it, give that one a go. On to the next. Okay, here's a beauty. Short circuit. Absolutely loved this film. Back in the, the 80s. Uh, hopefully the uh, Corridor game is as good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, something wonderful has happened. Number five is alive! 1986. Controlling Johnny Five. Okay, I can't shoot laser, unfortunately. Oh, we've got diagonal action as well. Can we go through doors? Can we L? I guess we're able to escape. Sinister. Mm. This fucker's blocking me. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Not gonna be getting past that fucker. Evil. What was this? 
Ah, examine. Nothing found. Maybe we can find a laser beam. Laser weapon. Nothing. Oh, hell. This is a bit like um, Mission Impossible where you've got to jump wrong. What the hell is that? Hmm. Oh, maybe I can jump now. Jump, can I help? This music's not annoying. Switch. Need my input. Need my input. How the hell do you jump? I assume we can jump now. It says laser there as well. What's going on? Ah, right, okay. Ah, right, okay, space bar. Right. Okay, need more input. So, can't use the, the laser. Fire to hide. Hm. Weird, okay. Maybe I can jump over the... Uh, I don't quite know what I'm doing here. Yeah? Right, fuck it, let's just... Right, so I can jump now, oh, right, that's it. Let's jump over that robot. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Ah! I passed here, little bastard. Need more input. Search the toilets. Found a steaming turd. Labrador puppy. Crikey. Yeah, we'll have the... Uh, why not? This is very odd. a coin down the back of the sofa. Crikey. You're losing the will to live. But I do want to get Johnny out of here. Come on. Plus I want to see Benjamin. Is it Benjamin? Here's his two friends. Come over. And Stephanie! That's the end of that. Johnny has been dismantled and his self his self-aware brain has been melted into slag. Okay. Oh, a, it's got a beatbox there. Shall I play that again? No. Okay, that was short circuit. I'm gonna stick with the film from now on because the game isn't very good at all, in my opinion. Okay, last game of the night. It is just gone past midnight on Sunday night. And I want to finish with a gem. So this one is called Slug. Yeah, okay.
Brilliant. No. No. Mm, uh, don't know. One. Okay, right. Fair enough. Jeez. No. Okay, slug. Okay. Okay, I'm that purple thing there. I guess we just gotta make our way off and spit globs of Fine. Oh hell. Okay. Right, so have I got energy here or what? <laughs> okay, so I right, right, okay. I just gotta kill everything. Ah, hearts, right, okay. Huh. Hmm, I wasn't expecting this. I was hoping for a platform game actually. This is, well, it is a platform game, I suppose. Yeah, quite quite clever in a way, is it? <laughs> I think it may have a limited appeal there. Ah, right, okay. I think we can only fire our slime so much. Um, before you die, which makes sense uh, because you'd, you'd gradually uh, dry off into nothing. Right, I need to get that heart, I think. Mm. There you go. Right, boom. Right, that's what we need to do. I think normally perhaps you'd have to collect more hearts, uh, but that has been crap, so. Oh no, if there's that beeping going on. <laughs> okay. Boom. Oh. Hmm, okay, I'm not feeling this game, but hell, we're there now. Let's try and complete it. <laughs> There's the heart. Okay. Oh, there's the. Oh, right. So we've got a. That's a bomb. Shit. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do it before the bomb goes off. Okay, okay. Not what I'm doing now. Yeah. Level 3 already. Nailing it. Oh. Cutscene. Bomb is active. I need to get down there. Easy. Yeah, I mean, this is a bit. I think I'm cheating. I must have inadvertently cheated. I didn't know what that meant. There we go. Oh. Uh oh. Music's all right. And they are varying the, uh, the levels somewhat. Um, Slug-related deaths. I know all too well about slug infestations. 
used to come into here. Well, they haven't done it for a while. We've got a new door. Stop the blighters. Oh, okay, you can you can stop the bomb going off. It's good to know. It's up there now. Yes. <laughs> we put a lot of effort into burying the uh, the game tiles, if you will. I've got unlimited lives. <laughs> I think I might, you know. <sighs> yeah, I should have died by now, should I? Normally would have. Right, I think we'll... Oh no, no, I've got one, got one left. Oh well. Okay, there we are, that was Slug. Give me your name. Well, it's not too bad, fifth, but I think we were cheating there without knowing. Okay, there we are. That was Slug. Uh, mixed bag today, as ever. Um, what was my favourite game? I don't know. I quite liked Spooky Castle, but it was too hard. Ricochet was good, but again, too hard and pop, perhaps slightly buggy. I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. We are back. Hopefully I'll be back soon. I've got another game in the mix. I want to do another Return to the Amiga game soon. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Cheerio!